Welcome to the mathematics of my channel. In this video, we are going to evaluate uh, this integral, integral from 0 to infinity sin of x over e to the x minus 1. Okay, before so late, uh, we evaluate integrals uh, using mass identity. Uh, in uh, previous videos, uh, I think uh, we discussed uh, about uh, 3 or 4 videos. So, uh, in this video, I am not going to talk about uh, that identity. Uh, however, in this video, uh, I am going to um, show you uh, mass summation identities. So, this identity is uh, introduced by uh, some mass achievement. Okay, uh, here um, I think uh, this is uh, very important to you. So, remember that. Remember that uh, this is uh, actually very important identities. So, if we have infinite series m is equal m is equal 1 to infinity uh, f of m is equal to 0 to infinity integral from 0 to infinity f of t over e to the t minus 1 t t now the question is uh, what is the f of m and f of t okay uh, here um, f of s capital f of s is a uh, laplace transform of f of t laplace transform of f of t also we know the identity integral so integral of laplace transform so 0 to infinity e to the minus st uh, times f of t dt so uh, now we know here uh, f of s is a uh, Laplace transform of f of t. Okay, uh, this is the first identity and uh, second one integral from m is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the m minus 1 times f of m f m uh, if we have this type of infinite series uh, we can write integral from 0 to infinity uh, f of t over e to the t plus 1 t t okay uh, then um, if we have uh, a series m is equal 1 to n not infinity here n uh, f of m is equal to integral from 0 to infinity 1 minus e to the minus nt over e to the t minus 1 times f of t dt okay next one uh, m is equal 1 to n minus 1 to the m minus 1 times f of m is equal to integral from 0 to infinity 1 minus minus 1 to the n times e to the minus nt over e to the t plus 1 uh, here f of t d t okay uh, this is the uh, mass summation formulas Okay, now um, how to evaluate uh, this integral? Okay, uh, now I'm going to take our question integral from 0 to infinity sine of t over e to the t minus 1 dt. Now, if you take uh, f of t is equal to sine of t now we know uh, f of s is equal to we know f of s is equal to laplace transform of f of t so laplace transform of f of t and this is equal to 0 to infinity e to the minus st times f of t t t now uh, we can write 0 to infinity 
e to the minus st times f of t we know sin of t so sin of t dt and we know Laplace transform of sin of t is equal to 1 over a square plus 1 1 over a square plus 1 okay um, then if you take our integral uh, we know integral from 0 to infinity sine of t over e to the t minus 1 dt uh, is equal to now we can represent this integral as a infinite series uh, using this identity uh, first identity so we can write this is equal to uh, s is equal 1 to infinity now uh, capital F of s we know capital F of s is equal to so capital F of s also if you want you can write this is also equal to s is equal 1 to infinity f of s we know uh, Laplace transform of sine of t and this is equal to 1 over a square plus 1 so we can write 1 oh, sorry infinite sum 1 to infinity 1 over a square plus 1 okay then um, how to evaluate this infinite series okay um, now we know our integral integral from 0 to infinity sine of t over e to the t minus 1 dt is equal to uh, s is equal 1 to infinity 1 over a square plus 1 okay now we have very interesting infinite sum uh, but uh, don't worry because uh, we evaluate uh, this infinite series uh, I generalize uh, this infinite series in a previous video if you like to watch uh, that video I will add the link in the description and also make a card so uh, we know n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square plus x square this is my generalization and the answer is uh, pi x minus 1 over 2 x square plus pi over x times e to the 2 pi x minus 1 okay then um, here we have 1 uh, so we should uh, apply 1 for x so here pi minus 1 over 2 plus pi over e to the 2 pi minus 1 and if we take pi over 2 as a common factor we have 1 plus 2 over uh, e to the 2 pi minus 1 minus 1 half and pi over 2 now if we simplify this e to the 2 pi plus 1 over e to the 2 pi uh, minus 1 minus 1 half and we know this is equal to uh, hyperbolic cotangent of pi so we can write this is equal to pi over 2 hyperbolic cotangent of pi minus 1 half so now we can write uh, this is equal to uh, pi over 2 hyperbolic cotangent of pi minus 1 half okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel and also uh, comment uh, like share mm, thank you for watching